Hello, my angel babies. Let me go ahead and turn this down a little bit. All right. I'm coming at you with another video, all right? I am giving up, okay, on trying to name any of my reads or anything like that because I feel like, honestly, the more that I focus on that, the more I'm just kind of like, like, why? You know what I mean? Like, I, what, why am I doing this? Like, it comes out being whatever it is that it wants to come out, okay? So there is somebody that likes you, okay, because that literally almost fell on the floor right now, okay? And, um, this person, I almost want to, I don't know, let me not make any assumptions here, but I feel like this person's, like, kind of sly, kind of sneaky, manipulative. Oh, gosh. Okay, yeah, okay, you want to know why I was feeling like that? Look at what just dropped out of here. The golden mirror, okay? This person is a self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing, okay? Um, so this person is trying to come in and be like, you know, I love you, but I feel like you're in the energy of, like, not today. Like, you're cutting it off, all right? You're not allowing yourself to be, you know, seduced or hook up with this person anymore. For some of you, this was, um, somebody that allowed, um, like, seduction, that, like, allowed themselves to be seduced by a third party, all right? They allowed themselves to cheat physically, emotionally, whatever. And they stabbed you in the back, okay? And it really hurt, all right? It caused you a lot of pain and heartbreak with this deception right here with how selfish and narcissistic they were being, all right? And it made you feel like you were not enough, okay? It puts you in that lack victim, lack consciousness, okay? Um, and this was a karmic relationship for some of you. So this was a relationship that triggered a whole lot of shit, all right? And you need to make healthy choices for you, okay? Because you were stabbed in the back by this person. And I think that you chose to um, love unconditionally anyway okay and we're gonna get some tarot to clarify this so oh yeah oh look at that so out of you doing that okay and you choosing to love all right it's coming an offer in the physical okay and emotional so you are being like gifted all right i'm hearing you're being gifted spiritually and you're starting to see things for what they actually are so your intuition is developing oh my god and the empress flipped out all right and the chariot in reverse so somebody tried this knocked you off of your path for a little bit all right but um you were able to claim a victory on it and come back as the empress and i was just saying like you're you're more in tune with your higher self now after having gone through this and choosing to unconditionally love so you healed you've done major healing all right is what i feel like i'm not even gonna pull any more tarot to be completely honest you've really come out of this sense of lack all right and realized that you had a passion you have discovered like your true highest self all right and i am going to pull from the ascended masters deck next What do we have from the Ascended Masters deck? We have Isis, which is magic manifesting, okay? You're manifesting your dreams for some of you. Like, you're, you're really developing, like, you guys have a lot of spiritual energy is what I'm feeling. I don't know why I feel led to say that, but you have a lot of spiritual energy, all right, that's being blessed to you, given to you, okay? Like, there's a lot. You, you have an anointing on you, okay? Jeez. Good grief. Two more cards want to follow up. So you have Joan of Arc, which is voice of truth. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release fear of persecution and speak your truth. All right. So um, for this narcissist person, you probably really like 
like show them like who you really were all right you probably told them about you know how they made you feel and told you you know there's something about this that you ended that you said to this narcissistic person um that really let them know that you were getting over the pain like you're just not willing to deal with it anymore okay and you have dharma unfolding remember that you are on a path take one step at a time to happiness yeah so even though this person knocked you off of your path you're coming back as the empress okay and that's amazing after you know dealing with somebody who is extremely narcissistic and i have one more card to come out here Commander Ashtar, call to action, take charge and lead by example, okay? So this is really calling for you to, um, you know, put your money where your mouth is, okay? Do what you know that you've been called to do regardless of what people think or feel, okay? Um, you also have Mercury was at the bottom of the deck, okay? Get a weight off of your chest, speak up and with love, and be heard, okay? So open communication. So when this person does come back around, they're saying to speak your true feelings, okay? Um, because it's going to lead you to happiness. So, you know, that's almost like telling you to speak your truth even if nobody else identifies with your truth. As long as you do, that's all that matters, right? I'm just going to pull one more from this deck hope okay love and acceptance okay and this is representative of your um solar plexus chakra where you hold self-belief okay i am all right love is yours recognize your divine worth choose loving thoughts yeah so this is manifesting your own happiness you manifested your own happiness by healing all right that's what i'm seeing here yeah, and you have Odin at the bottom of the deck still, all right? This was in another reading. Psychic insight, all right? You have psychic insight. And I feel like a lot of you have um, been spoken to, like, in dreams and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and talk about that. A lot of Pleiadian energy here. So some of you might be a Taurus, okay? With the Pleiades here, Pleiades um, constellation and Taurus constellation are close by. Um, Mercury, so there is definitely Gemini and um, Virgo here, all right, with communication. I also see Libra here with the Empress, okay, balance balancing things out here the lowest level of justice or the lower level of justice wow that's amazing so it's like your physical self your your emotional self have combined okay you, you master that that's become part of your higher self you're operating out of your higher self within the physical and emotional now so summer, taking action, fresh and intellect, okay, in the summertime. Um, I'm hearing for some of you, you may be taking some summer courses, okay, that are going to help out with this situation. Okay, and we also have moonstone, mystery, intuition. So, um... There's something about, like, your call to action that's still kind of mysterious to you, okay? Um, or maybe with this whole situation, even though you've come to really understand and have intellect and you've taken action, this is still, like, based off of your intuition, all right? It's not based off of anything that you know for fact. It's just based off of how you feel, okay? Um, that's for some of you. Is what your dreams are trying to tell you or communicate to you. Conception, inner self, expansion. All right, so on a new moon, waxing moon. So there's going to be some kind of communication opened up um, on the new moon or waxing moon, okay, about conception, about somebody being pregnant or um, somebody 
coming to the realization or operating within their higher self. Okay, so somebody is obviously like doing like a lot of praying. I want to know what moon phase we're in as of currently. So give me a minute just to look it up because you guys know I will stop reading if I don't know something and look it up. Because I don't want to say the wrong thing and give out the wrong information. Because what good would that be if I were to do that? Alright? So right now we are at the Wanning Gibbous Moon. Okay? A waxing moon. Let's see. The next waxing moon. Or new moon okay the new moon is gonna be on March 13th okay that is the next new moon okay I don't know why I was stuck on waxing moon because it says that or new moon but anyway okay that is going to be on the 13th okay on a Saturday so this is like something around next week where you're gonna be getting like a, a, another upgrade okay oh god yes what was i talking about with your solar plexus okay i just cut the deck in order to you know shift it flexibility adaptability and personal power so you're going to be getting some kind of blessing coming next week okay um you're also receiving spiritual wisdom and humility okay spirituality which is intuition isn't that amazing like i just cut the deck for this Oh my god, spiritual activation and stimulation, okay? You're going to be receiving a huge download from now until the 13th of next week, okay? Um, on this new moon going into um, March, all right? You're going to be having huge amounts of energetic downloads coming through your, or your dreams, okay? All right, and you have balance, elemental kingdom, all right? So I think that that is really awesome. And I just want, I don't know, I just feel like I should get a different oracle deck. I just keep feeling like there's another message here and I don't know what it is. But it's like spirits having me like not end the reading the way that I want to. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's get the angel oracle deck. All right. I have power animal. Your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with the situation. Now, what's funny is this card came out when I did a personal reading for myself last night, and I ended up asking out of my um animal oracle deck you know what are my spirit animals and a lion came all right which i have seen before in my mind's eye this huge black lion and this cub follow me around in the spirit realm okay and a cow spirit and i am a taurus so that you know would make sense so i'm showing you this just because i felt like it was significant for somebody but let me go ahead and get that deck out and we can figure out what yours is if they are not the two that i just showed you if that doesn't resonate with you because the lion spirit is about being generous and giving and fearsome okay um or fearless and not being full of fear okay going after your passions and with the cow spirit, okay, it's just blessings, being fruitful, okay, abundance. Um, which makes sense because my life path number is eight, okay, so that has to do with abundance and, you know, driving passion. And for you all, all right, you got the groundhog, so time to let go. So there's definitely something that you know spirit wants to tell you to let go of and it's probably the stability that you had or thought that you had with this person okay i'm feeling like i should pull one more all right and you have the parrot spirit watch your words so when it comes to this person you know just calmly like let them know if you're going to let them know like how it is that they've hurt you or what it is that they've done okay um watch your words when it comes to this person also 
B Spirit. Sweet results await. I wasn't going to pick that one, but it was left in the box after I was trying to put the other cards back. Okay, so like I said, you're going to be getting some blessing. And it's at the number seven. Seven is a spiritual number. Seven is the number of completion. So this has already been decided in the spiritual realm that you are going to receive these blessings. Okay, after cutting this person off um, and letting them know if you haven't already how it is that they've hurt you. Okay. And if you don't want to talk to this person, remember you don't have to. You have free will. Either you don't have to do or say anything, okay, when it comes to this person. Yeah, because you're a whole goddess out here, okay? Express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. So for some of you, you're not going to speak to this person. You are just going to really intuitively become one with your higher self and your intuition. And you're going to be diving head first, face first into spirituality, okay? You're not going to be holding back for anyone or anything, all right, you're clearing yourself out so that good energy can come in. You're releasing toxic people around you and things and energies that you've absorbed, okay? You're getting rid of what no longer serves you, all right? What's no longer in alignment with you. So that is basically what I have for you, okay, with this reading. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed my new setup. I tried to make things look a bit more aesthetically pleasing for you. Um, that is something that I think about, okay? Um, I also stopped doing thumbnails on my video because I feel like they were taking up a lot of camera space. And I feel like it keeps people from just seeing, like, how real I actually am. Like, I don't want things to be super commercialized. I really want people to just focus on the message, okay? And not how things aesthetically look all the time. So I'm giving you an aesthetic spread to kind of look and gaze at while I am, you know, doing this reading and talking to you about you know, these specific spiritual subjects. So if you need me for a personal reading, please go ahead to the description box. Everything you need is there. My business phone is free to call and text. All right, so go ahead and contact me if you need to or want to, all right? And I will see you next time. Bye.